Breakfast of Champions. Brie cheese, oysters, crackers, coffee. The M&M's bag is just a prop, believe me. Yeah, this ain't so bad. Eh? That's roughing it and stuff. A chunk of cheese. Stick it in the cracker. One of these monster oysters. Just expect it to be this big. Mm. So I did get uh, yesterday's video up yet. It's not enough uh, connection here, so we will uh, get it up later today. Uh, as I travel, I think we'll get it up. Nice spot, this, this uh, Batan du Hockey Cove. Well, here we are, Sunday morning. Not a whiff of wind. Pretty nice here. I keep saying that everywhere I go. It's freaking nice. Yeah. Uh, there are a couple seals out here in the bay. You can see them over there bobbing around. They've been pretty quiet though. We had so little uh, wind last night that the dinghy has stayed to the boat. It's got 25 feet of line there. It can go unravel itself. But uh, nope, just stayed right there all night long. Oh, I'm trying for pictures. That monkey would stop moving. Stand, stay still. Yeah, that's looking nice. I was just testing my heater to see if these guys could hear it. Ark could hear it when it was on full blast. But we were actually pointing that way. He couldn't hear it when it got down to just the normal speed. Which is kind of nice. It's uh, it's on right now. So I just turned it off. But the fan is going. It's, it's winding down. And here we go. We just taking off. Isn't that picturesque? We're going this way. Out of Baton de Hockey. And uh, I think we're heading back to the prison town. pretty good here. We're two knots and we're just at an island. Hardly any wake. And we're still going that way. I got my mainsail up but it doesn't seem to be working. There was a little bit of wind that quit. So hopefully there's some wind out when we get out of here. We're down at the business end of Baton de Hockey. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Hey look, I'm sailing. Or kind of a close facsimile because I got the motor going. There's not enough wind. Ark's caught some wind out there. So you see that flag over there isn't doing much. That's uh, open because it's behind the little trees there. Oh, oh well, if not, we'll just motor. There's the other guys coming. I'm told that's the giant's tomb there uh, from mythological legend here local legend of some giant that sprinkled the rocks all around and went over there and died so yeah 
That's it. There it is, right there. That's where I'm going. That's the, the town dock. Just gotta go over past dock lunch. Made it back to the dock. Just gotta get everything wrapped up, thrown back in the boat. I'm gonna do as much as I can right here because, uh, well, I don't have to do it on the trailer. I'm not blocking anybody here. So. Okay. I am loaded and I am leaving. I don't know where everybody else is. They look out, beach chickens are everywhere here. Just walking around. Uh, yeah, so I don't know where everybody else went to. I can guess. The, uh, I heard talk of some other cut as well as. Uh, to check out another bay. So, they are wherever. I'm loaded. Uh, Arik and I made it back before everybody else. Arik had uh, to go meet somebody to give him a hand with uh, his boat. So, and we are off now. Hitting the road. Just filled up with gas, and we are gonna hit the road. Still in uh, prison town, Penetang. One of Canada's prisons are here, or is here, are here. Uh, yeah. Anyways, nice harbor, nice uh, surrounding area. I guess if you escape, you're going to be doing a lot of swimming and rock climbing. We're coming into the place with all the bears. This is where the 906 meets the... Uh, I don't know what it is. Anyways, it all turns into the 906 south. Oh, it's a bottleneck, though. We will uh, prevail. Stan made me stop. That's about that's quarter after five. So, time for some lunch. I think it's lunch. Whatever. Burger, baked potato next. Flipping. Uh, Wendy's hack that uh, Stan taught me. So you get the baked potato with chives, and you get a small chili, you can put them together. Delicious. Car alarms. I don't know if you can see the car up there with the sparkly lights. That means uh, that we might not be moving very fast. He's passed everybody. <sighs> oh well. Um, I've been stuck in traffic for half an hour now. Uh, in Milton. Just idling through Milton. There's the sparkly lights. Let's hope uh, this is it. Somebody that rear-ended somebody. What happens when you follow too close? I just passed a guy that's up 
guy I used to work with, his name's Ken. He's a, he's a power boater. He's got one of those boats that's trailerable, but uh, there's got to be three axles on his trailer. <laughs> and uh, he pulls it with this uh, three-quarter ton. I think it's a three-quarter. could be a one ton. It's probably a one ton. It's got dualies on it, truck, the crew cab. Anyways, I saw him on the side of the 401. The crew cab is up on a flatbed and uh, somebody else's uh, truck is there hooked to the to the boat so Ken's not having a good day he'll uh, have to get his truck fixed oh well it sucks it happens to all of us eh? so, I saw a sign I'm 117 kilometers from London I'm on the 907 and three kilometers to the next on route. I'm gonna stop and grab myself a coffee. It's quarter to seven. So it's uh, going a little slower than I had hoped. Oh well, that uh, accident back there didn't help. The traffic's going really nicely now. Made it home. <laughs> Kitty's in her drawer. What do you think about being in there, Kitty? You like that, don't you? Yeah. It's like being in an episode of The Office. <laughs> oh, Stan, where'd you go, buddy? There he is. He's back to his monkey business. Hanging out. Well, made it home safe and sound. It's... 8.52. It's a long day of driving. A long day of sitting in traffic on the 907. Yikes. Well, what, what? thanks for watching. Go on, you said. <laughs> Come back and there's stick figures on the chalkboard uh, doors. I know Stan didn't do it. <laughs> Remember, wash your hands, be nice to people. No hugs. And, uh, Wear a mask, get a vaccination, all that stuff.